All right, I'm gonna show you a real constructive way to play with your dog. So if you have a terrier, especially, or they like to bite stuff, they like to growl, good girl. Oh, sloppy mouth touching my hand. So these are things I wanna clean up during playtime. I think play is the best way to train your dog. So I've got this long leash, we're out here having fun. Good, arousal, any pressure on the toy is done. So I'm gonna hold her little collar, drop, one time. Good girl, good, good, good. So the game resumes when she spits it out. Good, clean bite, clean bite. Hold the collar, drop. Good girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually I would throw it there, just for the sake of making a little video, I'll keep her close. Good girl, good, good. Now I'm gonna stop grabbing her collar, I'm just gonna hold the toy really still. She might pull back on it, so I might have to be patient. Phoebe, drop. Ooh, yes, good girl, good job. So the biggest thing you want them to learn is, I'm not gonna steal your toy, kid. I'm gonna play with you, I'm gonna make the game better. So if you have a dog who likes to play keep away, use the long leash, it keeps them from running away, or play indoors. Sometimes you have to manage your arousal level. Like if I'm really tugging, I might cause over arousal. She also has what I call a sloppy mouth, sloppy mouth, where I'll feel her little teeth on my hands. Luckily it's a inhibited bite. But what I wanna teach her is clean bites where she's just biting, say hi. <laughs> just on the toy, and so you'll see me grab the toy and hold it out like this, so she comes and grabs it, and I want a deep first bite, and I don't want her re-biting the toy, okay? So tug is a very good game to play with dogs. A lot of people think it makes them aggressive. You're playing a high arousal game, but that's the point. You wanna teach them in the middle of the game, you can still listen to me, you can still react in a way that I see fit. So if play causes jumping, causes growling, you can use that, whoa, whoa, down. Good girl. Okay. Dogs insert play pauses when the play gets too rowdy. So if you ever see dogs chasing, all of a sudden, uh, maybe an adult dog stops and brings the energy back down. If they start to get too rough and tumble, too crazy, I can slow it down. Easy. Drop. Just get real still. Don't repeat cues. Good. Good girl. Thank you. Okay, you can have it back. Good, okay, have fun with it, be safe. Teach good things, it's constructive learning. You don't need food, the game is the reward. Have fun. I'm all about putting structure to games, so another thing I like to do is teach her when we're all done. A lot of dogs see the presence of a toy and it causes arousal, they're like, oh cool, the toy is here, they get all excited. So you can put play on start and stop. So if your dog is a thief, a thief, <laughs> like mine, drop. Good girl. Phoebe, or all done. Toys under my armpit. Game is done. That's it. So put start cues. Okay, let's go. And tell them when the game is done. It's that simple.